What's up, y'all? It's Jeffrey back here at Flippin' Profit, where we create financial freedom one flip at a time. I've got another top 10 items to resell on eBay video for you. This is really just like a what sold video. I'm showing you the top 10 items that I have sold over the past couple weeks, just to give you an idea of what kind of items people pick up and flip on eBay. So if you're into that type of thing, hit the like button. Also, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any more big flips. And the first item we have here, I picked this up recently at a yard sale. If you saw the yard sale video haul, you know I picked this up for free. When I was looking over these items, um, the guy wanted $10 for this whole box of stuff. I wasn't too sure about it, and when I started to walk away, he told me, Hey man, I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. Just take it on out of here. So, I didn't waste any time. I picked it up and... Man, to my surprise, it really came out to a pretty good sale. I put it on an auction for uh, starting at $0.99 cents with uh, $28.99 shipping. And in seven days, it did pretty good. We got $51 for it. The shipping cost wasn't that much in the end. I think it only cost me about $17, $18 bucks to ship, something like that. And the reason I had the shipping up so much is because I was kind of factoring factoring in you know just in case if it didn't sell if somebody came in and only bidded the 99 cents i would still make a little bit money on it and wouldn't lose any money pretty good find there it's a radio shack trs 80 vintage computer lot it came with some other accessories like i said i didn't know too much about it didn't really know how to test it so i sold it as is for parts only and we still made a pretty good bit of money on it. The next item is this clarinet that I also picked up in that last yard sale haul video. It's a Galaxy by LeBlanc clarinet. Comes with a carrying case. And sold this one as is as well. Put it up for an auction at uh, 99 cents plus 19.99 shipping. And man, this auction went really well. As you can see, it sold for $78.00 plus the $19.99 shipping. And I didn't know too much about it, didn't know how to test it. I didn't know if it was missing any parts or pieces, so I put it as is for parts only, and we made some pretty good profit on that one too. Next up is this vintage 1997 Polo Ralph Lauren Teddy Bear. Some of you saw me pick this up in the recent trip to the thrift video. Found it at a, one of my local thrift stores for I think about $2, $3, something like that. Um, surprisingly, it wasn't really worth that much. The only other comps that I saw were going around 20 bucks, something like that. So I think I listed it for $24.77 and took a best offer of $22.22. I was happy to get rid of it. I don't really pick up too many plush animals. Um, this one was very unique. It was the Polo Ralph Lauren teddy bear with a Polo teddy bear sweater on. It's kind of kind of cool kind of unique and it was also very clean very well kept condition so kind of a no-brainer there i figured it would sell pretty quick and it did so moving on here this is a pokemon fire red version game boy advance game um cartridge only that means it just doesn't come with a case i bought this in a lot with the game boy advance and it had a bunch of games that came with it um i sold that recently had put it on auction too and man it went really well but this game in particularly, after looking up comps, I saw how much it was worth and so I decided to sell it alone by itself. I listed it for $32.77 and somebody came with an offer of $31 so I quickly took that. Uh, really good profit margins. I think it only weighed like 2 ounces so I shipped it first class and very big margins on a small game. So if you guys are ever out there see this Pokemon Fire Red version Game Boy Advance game, you better be picking it up. Even if it's 5 or 10 bucks. That'd, be, that'd still be a really good flip. And next we have this Thrustmaster T80 driving wheel and pedals. Um, this is a steering wheel and pedals for a PlayStation 3 or a PlayStation 4. It actually converts to uh, either one. I picked it up at a thrift store for I think about 5 bucks, something like that. And it sold for $49.77. That's with free shipping. So right at 50 bucks with free shipping. And it actually didn't cost too much to ship. Pretty good find there. Pretty good margins. And it sold really quick. I think it sold within about two or three days of me listing it. So uh, turned out to be a pretty good sale. Next one is this Canon Sure Shot WP1 waterproof 35 millimeter film camera it's an older camera but it is a waterproof film camera and those are always hold very good resale value it had a strap that came with it but to be honest i picked this up at a yard sale i think i paid one or two bucks for it um and that was a smoking house i cleaned this thing up really well the camera itself does not smell like smoke or anything but the strap that it had on it did kind of have a uh, cigarette smell to it 
and I tried washing it, getting it cleaned off, but it just wouldn't come off. So I went ahead and sold it without the strap, and it sold really quick. I want to say within the first day or second day it sold, full price $39.77 plus free shipping. Can't beat that. That's a pretty good flip. I was able to ship it first class, put it in a put it in some bubble wrap in a really small box, and it wasn't heavy at all. So uh, pretty good margins there and great flip. Next are a pair of these Dansko XP women's size 37 multicolor leather clogs slip-on shoes. I picked these up at a yard sale pretty recently. I don't know a few weeks ago. Um, I think I got this along with three other pairs of shoes. I paid, I think, four bucks a piece for them. And as you can see, that Dansko brand, women call these work shoes, you know, uh, nursing shoes, a lot of time people will call them. They're just leather slip-on clogs. These had a nice multicolor design on them. And I think I had them listed for like $44.77, something like that. So took a best offer of $40 plus free shipping and great margins on that one too. Can't beat it. Next up is this Apple TV. A1469 third generation version. Um, I don't use Apple products too often, so I really I think this is just the uh, their TV subscription type thing, kind of like a Roku deal or thing or something like that. Either way, I picked this up at a yard sale. I want to say two or three dollars, something like that. It is in one of the recent yard sale haul videos, I believe. I think I had it listed for thirty nine seventy seven. Went ahead and took a best off for thirty five dollars with free shipping. It is first class shipping. It was very cheap. Once again, just threw some bubble wrap on it and had a small box to put it in. So, um, And no, I wasn't able to test this item. I know there's, uh, I get questions sometimes, how do I test certain items? There's some stuff that uh, you just kind of, you know, it's kind of a gut feeling based on the condition that it's in, where you found it. Um, some of these electronics you can't really test. You know, you want to make sure that they get power to them and whatnot, but I don't have an Apple TV subscription or whatever, so there wasn't really a way to test it. So you kind of take that risk. It could come back on you. It could come back as, you know, faulty or somebody might want to return it because it doesn't work. But nine times out of ten, like I said, you eyeball it, see what kind of conditions it, see what kind of cosmetic condition it's in, and you can kind of tell whether or not it's uh, still functional or not. A lot of people are scared to do that. A lot of people don't want to take that risk. They don't want the uh, penalties on their eBay account. But to be honest, the only thing that's going to happen is um, you just lose some of your benefits, some of your uh, discounts, you know, your shipping discounts and stuff like that. Your final value credit fee might be a little bit more if you get too many penalties on your account. And But it doesn't stay that way. It's only for that quarter. So after whatever quarter you're in after that passes up it'll reset they'll reevaluate your store or your eBay subscription and um, as long as you get your numbers you know get your code of conduct backed up I guess that's what you would call it you're, you really have nothing to worry about you'll still get those shipping discounts and stuff like that but um, I don't mind taking the risk uh, pretty good margins in it like I said eyeball it nine times out of ten the things work great next up is this pan digital photo link one touch photo scanner um, found this at a yard sale as well only paid two or three bucks for it it was pre-owned or used of course it wasn't brand new but it did still have the box and the manual and everything included when you buy it brand new put it up for twenty three seventy seven with free shipping and somebody took it full price twenty three seventy seven I threw some bubble wrap inside the box to keep the parts from flopping around and threw it in a poly mailer and sent it on its way easy shipping cheap shipping great margins and last but not least this is a Sony PlayStation 3 uh, move motion controller it's also ps4 vr compatible i think i paid a dollar or two for this at a yard sale maybe i found it at a thrift store i really can't remember which one but um either way good margins on it very light item ship it first class and it sold full price 24.77 with free shipping and another thing it didn't stay on there long i want to say it sold within two or three days so uh if you happen to see some of these out there at the yard sale or thrift store Pick them up because they got good margins on them.
So that's going to be it for today's top 10 items to resell on eBay. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something new today. Make sure to hit that like if you enjoyed this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any more big flips. Also, if you're new to my channel and you want some more tips on how to sell on eBay, check out some of my playlists. And if you're new to reselling and you need some shipping supplies on the cheap cheap, check out some of my affiliate links down in the description. If you purchase something through one of those links, I make a small commission and that directly helps support the channel, so thank you. I appreciate each and every one of you watching my videos and until I see you next time, keep flipping.